How does an efficient door locking system with logo functions work according to U.S. norm? Hello, my name is Michael Salt from Siemens. I am a promoter for low voltage switchgear in the Southwest Center region. Today's topic is implementing efficient door locking on distributed control cabinets using a logo according to the current U.S. standards. The standard prescribes that there can be different possibilities, i.e. you can mechanically lock the door once, or you can lock the door electrically, or you can also lock the door electrically and mechanically, that is, with a combination of the two. The standard also allows for the possibility of opening a closed door while the main breaker is closed by defeating the lock with a tool. In this control cabinet, we have installed a molded case circuit breaker from the Centron range of a 3VA5 with UL certification and an associated door mounted rotary operator, an auxiliary switch, a trip alarm switch, and an under voltage release are also installed in the circuit breaker. We need all these components for the electrical control system. For electrical locking, I have installed the Sirius 3 SC5 position switch with magnetic tumbler in the lock position and a key operated push button in various signal lamps from the new Sirius Act 3 SU series. The core of this control system is, of course, the Siemens logo controller. We start with mechanical locking. For mechanical locking, I deactivate the locking mechanism of the handle with the screwdriver bottom right on the handle. I'll just demonstrate that. I push the blade into the opening here and defeat the mechanism. The control cabinet door is open. I can now perform maintenance work, etc. Once I have finished my work, the door must be closed again and the lock must be engaged. I close the door and the lock automatically engages again. Now let's look at electrical locking. For electrical locking, I deactivate the magnetic tumbler of the position switch in the closed position with a key operated push button. I do this for 10 seconds. Within these 10 seconds, all doors that are locked with the position switch are unlocked. If none of the doors opens after these 10 seconds, the original state is restored. That is, all the doors are locked again. I start defeating the lock again and now open a door. During this time, I can again make settings and so forth. All other doors are automatically locked again after these 10 seconds. Once I have completed my work on this panel, I close the door and this door is also automatically locked again. Now all doors are closed again. This time of 10 seconds is, of course, a time that I have programmed in the logo. The time is freely selectable. A time must be chosen during which it is reasonably possible to get to the last control cabinet door in the panel. That is at a distance of 15 meters and within sight, according to the standard. In this case, the 10 seconds are, of course, sufficient. But this can be changed at any time. As I have said, the next option that exists is, of course, to isolate the control cabinet completely within the main switch. That means the switch is open, the installation is de-energized and all doors thus unlocked. The door with the main switch is unlocked, as are all other doors with electrical locking, which are kept closed by the position switch. Before a circuit breaker is closed and the installation becomes operational again, all doors must be closed. If a door is not properly closed or is still completely open and I try to close the circuit breaker, the circuit breaker will trip immediately. This is done via the install under voltage release. I must close the door or doors properly and then I can close the circuit breaker quite normally. Now the big question is, what happens if a position switch is defective? For example, the solenoid is defective and keeping the door closed is no longer insured. 
I can demonstrate this briefly by deactivating the power supply for the solenoid of the position switch. I can still close the control cabinet now, but if I open this door with a defective position switch, the circuit breaker also trips. This is done via the actuator circuit. This actuator circuit is a closed circuit, i.e. this circuit is also fail-safe. That was the topic. Application with a logo control for distributed door locking according to U.S. standard. Thank you for your attention. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.